ever dreamed of stepping into a 3D cartoon world, today that dream becomes reality. Join us as we transform everyday scenes into stunning 3D cartoon creations. I am using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 installed on Windows. For the checkpoint model, I am using Proto Vision XL, which I obtained for free from Civit AI. It is approximately 6 gigabytes in size. You download this and place it in your web, UI, models, and stable diffusion folder. Go to the image to image tab and upload an image. I will start with the portrait of a woman. Now for the prompt, you can use something similar to this. Start with a professional 3D cartoon portrait, describe the character, and then end with Pixar art style. For the negative prompt, I use photographic since I don't want it to look like a photo, and I add some extra words to improve the quality of the image. I am using 30 sampling steps, and for the sampling method, I am using DPM plus plus 3M SDE Keras. For the size, I keep a ratio similar to uploaded image, somewhere around 1024 pixels. For the CFG scale, I use 7. Now, the most important slider, which will allow you to get some nice variations, is the denoise strength. Let's start with 0 0.35 and hit generate. It looks interesting, but I don't like the eyes, so let's try one with 0 0.5. As you can see, this is too much because it started to change the hair. You should add the hair color in the prompt to be more consistent. Let's reduce the denoise to 0.45, and as you can see, it, it now looks quite similar, but in cartoon style. If you use a bigger value like 0.6, you get a stronger variation, so if that is not a problem for you, you can use that. As you can see, it has very nice details and looks quite nice. Let's try another image. I have a cat with a crown, and I will use a similar prompt to the one I used for the woman, just mentioning the cat's color and that it is wearing a crown. For the denoise strength, I will use 0 0.5, uh, and the rest of the settings will remain the same. As you can see, it is quite similar, but what if I want a, a more cartoon-like version, similar to what you see in, in a Pixar movies? Then you should add a, a larger denoise value. In this case, a value of 0 0.8 will create a really cool cartoon cat. For the next test, I will use a tulip on a black background. Again, I'll use a similar prompt, but instead of a cartoon character, you can say cartoon illustration or cartoon 3D render. As you can see, it is quite different from the original because it, it has a high value on denoise strength. So if I reduce that, we get something more similar. Let's also try with a photo of a dog wearing a green scarf using a denoise value of 0.5. I like the result, but I want more details in the scarf. Many times it helps if you mention those details in the prompt. In my case, it helps if I mention the word wool, like the material from which the scarf is made. For a value of 0.75, I get a different dog, but again, maybe sometimes you need a variation, not exactly the same dog or to be too similar to the original photo. For the last test, I will use an image of a penguin on ice. I usually start with a value of 0.5 and then um, play with the slider. I don't like that it has three feet in the image, so I will try another value. By the way, you can make subtle adjustments if you have the same seed and uh, slightly move either the sampling steps or the CFG scale. After hitting uh, generate with these values, the penguin has only two feet, as it should. Let's try a larger value to see how it affects the result. Uh, you can also try different words in the prompt. For example, like using the same seed in settings, and just adding the word rough will make a slight variation of it. And since we have a high denoise value, we can actually replace the penguin with something else. Maybe a teddy bear would look interesting. Huh. I put beard instead of bear, but still got what I wanted.
I will also make the bear white and cute. And maybe we can play with the light. For example, golden hour can have a strong effect. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like to support more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the, the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a great day.